Here we are at a lovely spot where you can stay in um, a little parking area. Um, there's got the sea on one side of us. I don't know if you can see it behind me. You see? And the mountains. The mountains on the on the far side there. There's the sheep, the sea. You can go for a walk down there. And this is if you go to Drick and then take the lane, the lane down here from Drick. That's where that's where we are. It takes you right down to the coast, this little lane. It's okay, I got down here all right. Hi everyone. Well, we've got rain. Rain today for the first time. Well, since the first day we set off. Um, um, and, we, you know, we spent the night uh, while camping down that lane um, near Drig. Uh, we're, that were fine. Um, we had a decent night there. No problems. Um, except the police kept coming up and down well, about four times so yeah, but there's a military establishment near nuclear facility or something near there so whether it's because of that I don't know what was going on but it wasn't us, we were alright, we didn't break the law um, anyway we we set off and stopped at a place can't remember the name of it but we didn't I just, there was a toilet there now where I could empty my cassette and it was chucking it down so we couldn't get out. So we've come on now, I've, I've booked a pitch on a site for one night, for tonight. They have uh, one pitch available at Low Hall Farm in Broughton in Furness. That's where we are now and it's still chucking it down so we can't go anywhere. So it looks like today's been a bit of a washout, but you're going to get days like that. Um, the um, I did manage to squirt some. I've got some cold start for the for the camper. I've got it booked in for next Wednesday because we've got to go back to Tracy's uh, on Monday, and I've got it booked in to to be. I think it's the glow plugs that's causing the problem starting. I got some cold start and I squirted it and it, it did start this morning, um, so that's good. Okay, that's about it for today, I'm afraid. I don't think there's hotels I can tell you. I'll show you because it's wet through. Okay, bye. Morning, everyone. Listen. Can you hear that pitter-patter sound? All day yesterday, and all night, and this morning. So, not not been very good with the videos, I'm afraid. Um, but we we had a good night on that little site at Broughton in Furness, and got we got all emptied and filled again. Now ready, we're off, and we've come to Barrow in Furness. Now this is a heavy industrial town. I've never been here before. Been to Barrow on Umber, but I've never been to Barrow on Furness. So we've come to the dock. Well, well, I don't know what it, what you'd call it. It's just, it's just surrounded by industry of one sort or another. Uh, now it is raining. I won't be able to stay out longer. I'll just go outside and show you what's around here where we are. We're, we're just parked up here to show you this and then we'll, I don't know, we'll have to move on. It's, can't walk around in this stuff. Massive industrial buildings all around. Um, 
brilliant park, loads of parking space here. Um, and there's this this place here with the ships. Maritimecraft.co.uk um, Yeah. It's a funny old place. There's nothing much for us to stay here for. But I thought, I can't go in this area and not take a look at Barrow in Furnace because I've never been here before. But look at car parks. Tons of room here. I don't know whether it's normally full with whether people are not back at work fully yet. I do not know. But anyway, a weird place, but that's it. <laughs>